Four months ago, I went down Paul Linfoot Racing to see a genuine Sierra RS500 barn find. The car has been owned from you by a now 79 year old chap called David. David bought the car through his company in the late 80s and used it as his company car. He even had a mobile phone installed to do his work. When David retired, he bought the car from his company. Then some years later, as life moved on, he parked the Cosworth up and got on with life. After seeing the hype and the prices of these classic cars going up, David decided to get the car back on the road so he could use it. Paul Linford Racing was the obvious choice to get the car back up and running. Now, unfortunately, David, the owner, who is 80 years old this year, has had some health issues. So plans for the car have slightly changed. And to give an idea of how rare this car is, Ford produced 500 RS 500s, and they only came in three colours. There was 56 white, 52 blue, 392 black. With the car now looking absolutely amazing, let's ask Paul what the current plans are and what work has been done to the car and we wanted to keep the car as original as we possibly could. So the aim was do no paint work on it whatsoever, do the little amount of work we could do, but just get it back on the road basically. Mm -hmm. So it was originally like a belt tension, a water pump, a full service, brake fluid change, blah, blah, blah. We got it on the ramp and the shell was unbelievable. It's solid, it's absolutely rock solid as a shell. It still uh, hasn't had any welding, has it? No, it's never been welded, no. Anyway, we got it on ramp and me and Steve looked around it for quite a while and it was like, we wanted to just wax oil everything, you know, mm -hmm. like the rear beam had gone a bit flaky and the front cross member. Anyway, long story short, it just was a little bit too far gone, you know, to, to leave it. So mm -hmm. we said, right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll strip it and, and just repowder coat the beam, the, the cross member. And it's a good job we did. It was the wheel bearings had actually gone rusty and, and we found a lot of mechanical issues with the car. Nothing serious, nothing mm -hmm. that what serviceable parts, but there was a lot that needed doing. So we basically dropped every bit of running gear out of the car, the engine gearbox, back axle, every bit of suspension came out of it. We put it on a rotisserie, then started looking at the shell and the shell all be absolutely rock solid. There was the little minor bits of corrosion that we call spidering, where you see little lines appear under primer and that way. It's not rotten, it's just starts to creep underneath. So we decided to strip it underneath. Me and Steve went at it with wire wheels and a deer sander. And then we wrapped the floor. So the hole underneath of the car was wrapped. Again, not for a concourse finish. It was to preserve it. Mm -hmm. But it still looks mint. It looks uh -huh. absolutely lovely. But it was more a preservation than a restoration. And obviously everything got powder coated, all brand new bushes. Every seal was replaced. Everything was replaced with brand new mm -hmm. and then put back together. The interior we never touched. It's never had anything done to the interior at all. 54,000 um, miles as well, isn't it? 54,000 yeah, mile original yeah. mileage. Yeah, genuine mileage. Now, if people want to look back, if they don't know this car and they look at it, I think they'd struggle to believe that this car's had no CM4. power. Back. It is, we've got to thank CMS Porsche and detailing. Them guys reached out to us after the video. Well, I've known the owner of the company, Steve, for many, many years. He used to buy parts off me years ago when I was RS spares. And they said they'd like to be involved in the project and they'd yeah. like to detail it for, for David, the owner. And we said, yeah, yeah, you know, great. If you want to yeah. come and do it, that's brilliant. And they came up here for two days and they worked like till 10 o'clock at night for two days. Aye. And it took a, a lot more than they expected. They did like a three-stage cut on it to get the paint back. Anyway, they never managed to get it finished, so um, they wanted to do a final polish and then um, the, uh, what do they call that protection? Ceramic coating. Ceramic coating. I'm telling them, Sean, get an Alzheimer's. Um, so what we agreed was we would finish the car, put it back together, then we would take it down to them in Shropshire, leave it with them, and they would then finish the detail and ceramic coat it. And, and that was the plan. And then the plan for us was to take it to the NEC Classic and Restoration Show, which was last weekend, and hand it over to David then. So he's obviously seen videos of the car as we've done it, but he'd never seen it finished. So we did that. Uh, and I'll be honest, when, when we first saw the car, because they brought it to the NEC for us in a covered trailer, it drove in, I was just blown away. Mm -hmm. I was just like, really? It is, that is, it is beautiful, beautiful. The and shine I mean, and... In all fairness, you're not seeing it, it's best because we obviously brought it back from the NEC and it got a bit wet, it rained and you can see I haven't washed it, it yet because I need to wash it properly, I don't want to mark it or anything, but 
it just looks absolutely phenomenal, doesn't it? it does. From what it was, you've got to look at the video before ah. and then look at it now, and it's just. And it's original, it's never been painted. That's never the been thing. touched. Can we put the bonnet on and have a look at the bonnet? We can. Yeah. Now, again, under the bonnet, we, we never restored it. Mm -hmm. we, we tried to keep, all we did was detail cleaned it. But again, if you look at the video before and after, you don't really realise how, how nice it is, even down to the rocker cover. Uh, I like it like that with the little chip marks. I know, exactly. It was a really tough decision because it's such a lovely rocker cover. And when they're refurbished, they really pop when you lift they the bonnet, don't you? Do, but mint. we just thought, how many have never had the rocker cover refurbished? How many have never had the inlet manifolds aqua blasted? And so we had to do a few things. We had to, we had the uh, the fuel rails and the throttle bracket there were blasted and then replated mm -hmm. because they were just really too rusty. But other than that, obviously a new battery. New fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, that's just a matter of course. Mm -hmm. it? Obviously every fuel line's brand new. Um, but all the original hoses that we were worried about normally, you, you, you go like that and they all crack. Turn like plastic, don't they, instead of rubber? Yeah, they were mint, were as that? you can see. The, all the original hoses and they were absolutely mint. So you put, did it have a, it had an aftermarket exhaust on, didn't it? Yeah, it had a big bar exhaust so you put on. So put standard um, exhaust on. Yeah, one of the reproduction standard exhausts. We put new suspension on it because the, the suspension struts and that had just rusted that bad. Um, so we got some uh, Bill Steins painted in black so they look away so when you look mm -hmm. underneath it looks original wheels have obviously been refurbished again a company reached out to us is this who restored the wheels yeah did the wheels for us um and, and a fantastic I job a good job mind oh, absolutely meant we were made up with the wheels like um because i've tried a few companies to get these wheels done and nobody seems to do them right you can't get the caps back in or you can't get the locks back in mm -hmm. or the they just don't listen to what you want. These guys listen to what we wanted and we're absolutely made up. So they'll do all our wheels from now on now and we recommend them to everybody. With this is set up on toolbox up there that have just come back from them that we've had done. I'll show you them, Adam, because there's something quite trick about them. What, the wheels? Yeah. These wheels are a customer's wheels right. um, that these guys did for us, but he wanted the Ford logo doing. Oh, is this a, what, uh, is it Dave at XYZ yep. Engineering done? So he cut that out, didn't he? The machine, because basically when they skim these wheels, you lose the Ford badge, don't you? That's right. So, so he, he's, he's milled this out, yep. he's made like a coin that drops in, so That's you then right. get the Ford badge back. And then obviously left the Ford badge proud enough uh -huh. that they could cut it with the lathe when they cut the centre cap. Nice, and a link job of that, man. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I bet a bag it's a few more than to do now. I think so, yeah, yeah. I know it's a lot of work for Dave and a tedious job, but I think realistically, if you, if you, if if the car's mint and you want it perfect to get that Ford badge back uh -huh. like that, it's worth the extra money. I had some words refurbished and I lost the badge. Yeah, you do normally. That's pretty cool, well, like them it? ones there, look, what happens is they can't cut the Ford badge. Uh -huh. Without taking all the... Not yeah, on. so what I normally do is put some little crumbs, Ford stickers on. Oh, right, just to get the Ford badge. They look all right, but mm -hmm. they just look brand new. They, they look, look mint, right. they look mint. Mint. So, as well, unfortunately, is this car come up, for, it's come up for sale now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, David, all he was really bothered about was could he have the car back for his 80th birthday, which is in June. Uh -huh. He wanted to drive it. Anyway, we've done that, but because of his health condition, he said to us, look, Paul, he said, while it's at its best, if you will, while everything's brand new, while it's looking its best, it makes sense to sell it yeah. now. So we brought it Such back with us. We, we, we unveiled it to him at the NEC, which is great. We, we, we'll do our own video on that on, on my channel, mm -hmm. of him seeing it for the first time. He was quite overwhelmed. He brought all his family mm -hmm. with him and he was quite overwhelmed by it, which was lovely. So we asked us to bring it back. So we brought it back now. We're just going to give it a quick clean, bring it back up and then Put it up for sale. Is it tax and tested now? The MOT'd, yeah. Obviously mm -hmm. uh, not taxed, but not it's taxed. MOT'd, all the tracking and everything's been done. So it's ready to go. But David, he's going to come up one day and take the car for a drive. You know, he's not going right. to sell it without driving it again. So he's going to come up and have a day here uh -huh. and take it out for a spin. We're leaving the phone in, which we think is just I proper, would leave that in. Proper cool light, innit? I'm going to be looking on eBay for one for my car now. To be honest, you know what? I thought about if you could get someone real clever with electronics 
and get an old iPhone mobile, yeah, and put, and put it in there so it worked. <laughs> It'd be worth it, wouldn't it? It <laughs> would, it would. But oh. yeah, we're, obviously, Davey's over at moon with it. Me and Steve are absolutely over at moon with it. We think, we think, we're, we're, we think we've done it right. We've, ah, we've I done do. only what it needed, no more, no less. Um, and, and, and it starts, it drives mint, it's never been welded. We've done no paint work on it. The only thing we have done, if you remember, it had fog lights in when it oh, came. Oh, right, yeah. So you've put the grills in. We put the grills in. And the two reasons for doing that, one, we think they look better with the grills in. Better with the grills. And two, when we took the fog lights out, they fell to bits. Did they really? Yeah, the glass fell off them. They were corroded, so. The indicator was smashed on the... This side, it originally yeah. Came in, so didn't we it? put a pair of brand new ones in. Ah, oh, mate, it looks incredible. Uh, honestly, incredible. You, you have to sort of just touch yourself really a little bit and, and think, look at a picture of what it looked before and look at that. And I you put just, some footage in of it before. So yeah, I think you've got to do because I don't think people will, will, will appreciate how bad it was. 27 years sat in a barn. Mm -hmm. It was just matte black, wasn't it? It was just it was. completely matte black. It was. And under bonnet it was just absolutely filthy. Amazing. They had quite a lot of money spent on it. So for anybody looking to buy one, where do you get a one owner? Totally original. Totally original. Never been, never been restored as in stripped and repainted or anything like that. And right, fellas, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you are interested in the car, I will leave links to Paul below, his email address, and Paul's got a YouTube channel where you can go back on his videos. You can see the work they've done on the car. Um, but yeah, again, mate, thanks for having us down. No, thanks for welcome. taking the time out of your day. And I hope the car finds a good owner. Yeah, sure I, think it it, I think it will have. The, the car's had a lot of, a lot of coverage, haven't it? Mm -hmm. Your channel, our channel. And while it was at the NEC, three magazines have seen it on really? YouTube and they've all asked if they can do a feature because they like the story about uh -huh. it being stood and it's one owner, blah, blah, blah. So I think it's uh, without fail like it. <laughs> I think, um, you know, I think it's a nice car for somebody to buy a one owner, 54,000 mile. Un, unrestored as in paint work car so yeah if anybody is interested the car's for sale they can get in touch and come and have a look all right nice nice investment nice car but there again fellas thanks for watching thanks to paul for having us down and i'll catch us on the next video cheers